फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो Chandrayaan-3 launched onboard Indian Space Research Organization's ISRO's LVM3 vehicle was propelled by a billion dreams on a journey to thrust India's name into the elite league of space-faring nations having accomplished a soft landing on the moon the first to do so near the lunar south pole How did a developing nation's space program with humble beginnings in the quaint seashores of Thumba achieve such an impressive feat commended world over? The moon, Earth's nearest neighbor and only natural satellite has been kindling the curiosity and imagination of the human race across cultures. The moon has long been a source of inspiration inviting humanity to explore worlds beyond. One of the monumental achievements in this quest was the Apollo moon landings in the late 1960s and early 70s which to date are the only endeavors to take humans beyond the low earth orbit to the moon the as yet farthest reach of any human mission. Apollo 11 mission achieved the first moon landing in 1969 followed by five successful follow-on landing missions where a total of 12 people have walked on the moon. The Indian space program under the visionary leadership of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai took shape around this time with a view to develop technology that benefits the society. It is not accidental that on the soil of India, the great space powers, the United States, the USSR, and France, are collaborating with us at the equatorial range near Tumba. Over the years, the program has made giant strides with an impressive fleet of reliable launch vehicles and a diverse set of satellites catering to various applications. Space technology being a much guarded domain, technology had to be developed in-house with the available resources. What is even more remarkable is that these feats were achieved with a frugal budget, highlighting the efficiency, resourcefulness and innovative thinking put in by ISRO and showcasing our Atmanirbhartha to the world. With time, our historic relationship with the moon has only grown stronger. India's Chandrayaan missions have not only advanced our understanding of the lunar surface, but have also positioned India as a key player in the global space research arena. Chandrayaan 1 launched on board ISRO's workhorse PSLV in October 2008 made India's presence felt beyond Earth's orbit. The moon impact probe landed on the moon surface bearing the Indian flag a moment of pride and inspiration for the nation The mission confirmed the presence of hydroxyl molecules on the lunar surface a groundbreaking discovery Additionally Chandrayaan once data provided valuable insights into the moon's mineral composition topography and exosphere Chandrayaan 2 launched on board the LVM3 in July 2019 successfully positioned the orbiter in lunar orbit which could effectively map the entire lunar surface even though soft landing could not be achieved it was a valuable learning opportunity which enabled us to develop the systems for Chandrayaan 3 in a very short time 
ISRO soon came back with Chandrayaan 3, a fortified design with increased margins and rigorous testing at multiple levels to handle all worst-case scenarios. 14th July 2023, the mighty LVM-3 vehicle stood ready at the launch pad in Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota, carrying Chandrayaan-3 safe inside its fairing. At 14.35 hours, the launch vehicle rose majestically towards the bright sky, gaining velocity every second. The trusted vehicle precisely injected its payload to the Earth orbit, providing almost 98% of the total energy requirement for the mission. After a successful journey spanning over a month involving complex maneuvers, the much-anticipated moment of lunar landing came on August 23, 2023, when the entire nation united to watch the momentous occasion live. At 18.3 IST, the moon shone brighter over the Indian subcontinent as soft landing was achieved on the moon's surface, scripting history. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. The lunar South Pole region, immersed in perennial shadow, holds immense scientific potential as a source of water ice as well as compounds that could provide insight into the formation of Earth, Moon and Solar System. Days August ko, jab Bharat mein Chandrama par Tiranga pharaya, us din ko ab, हिंदुस्तान नेशनल स्पेस डे के रूप में मनाया जाएगा The mission also succeeded in skyrocketing scientific interest, especially in the space science field, in the minds of the general public, including the student community. Moon missions drive advancements in science, technology and international collaboration, offering crucial insights into the moon's composition, history and potential for future human habitation. The moon is also a potential source for resources like water ice which could be used for drinking water, oxygen production and even rocket fuel. India's future missions to the moon like the Chandrayaan-4 aim to build on the successes and experience of the Chandrayaan missions and as a natural progression in our pursuit of lunar exploration attempts to bring back samples from lunar surface to earth. Our vision for the Amrit Kaal leading to the centenary of independence has been clearly outlined with a host of exciting missions lined up under Space Vision 2047. Establishing our own Bharatiya Antariksh station is one such ambitious program. Designed to be built in a modular fashion, this station would enable India to establish a permanent human presence in space and would serve as a base station for future exploratory missions to Moon and eventually to Mars. Increased collaboration among space agencies and public-private partnership is the way forward for these challenging missions. Dwindling resources on our planet make it imperative for humans to venture out of the confines of Mother Earth, undertaking planetary exploration missions. In this direction, to further unlock the mysteries of our enigmatic celestial neighbor, the country envisions an Indian landing on the moon by the year 2040. In the long run, we will be targeting sustained human habitation on the moon, enabling it to serve as an intermediate pit stop for further exploration to other planets. Moving forward, we can aspire for more of exciting missions like soft landing of an unmanned spacecraft on Mars, gathering vital data about our sister planet, 
colonization of Mars is seen as critical to humanity's long-term survival, providing a potential backup for life in case of catastrophic events on Earth. With right emphasis on missions to serve humanity and scientific exploration, we continue to shape our understanding of the universe and our place within it. We at ISRO invite you to be part of this exciting journey of exploring the unknown. Jai Hind!